Hi, I'm PJ. This is Behind the Bucket. And our today's guest is... Jakob Vlažić. Hi, I'm Jaka Blažić, player of Morobank Kandora and Slovenian national team. Our today's guest is uh, Jaka Blažić, of course. So Jaka, welcome. Very Thank nice you. to very nice to see you. Thanks for let's start. Me. Let's start with the most important thing. You are the European champion, man. Yeah, I congratulations. <laughs> How does that feel? It's a big thing, you know, for especially for that small country like Slovenia. It was incredible. Uh, nobody believed in us. Uh, only one guy, who I can say, maybe you know him, Rasha Nesterovic, famous, famous course, basketball player. He said when we gathered, like in June yeah and he said uh, we're gonna win medal this year and we were like okay stop <laughs> don't put too many what, pressure what were you on drinking us. like right <laughs> yeah, okay. don't put too much pressure on us uh -huh. at the end everything uh, worked worked out perfect you know he believed in us also we believed in him and the coach and everybody who was working with us and it was an amazing story you know that was like a fairy tale man yeah. like, it, it was really incredible congratulations let me ask you this where do you keep the medal Right now it's in my uh, house, in my parents' house. So Is it back home? I yeah, mean, it's yeah, back home, back home, yeah. When I went to Andorra, I said I want risk it to lose it here uh, somewhere, so I just let it to my mom and she, she's taking care of it. So, so you say it's in your parents' house, can you be a little more specific? Like, uh, we go into the special room? With no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I actually don't know where the medal really? is. You know? yeah, it's, my mom put it somewhere, I, when I come home, I'm gonna take this and just put it where I think it belongs. I tried. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about this. Um, this is your first season here in Andorra, right? Yes. When did you arrive? I arrived right after uh, Eurobasket. Uh, we didn't have you and I to, to celebrate properly, yeah. properly, you know, so uh, two days after Eurobasket, it was like 28th of September, mm -hmm. I arrived here and since, since that day I'm here. Right now, is the, at the time that we're recording this, yeah. you are in the middle of the six-win streak, right? Yes, that's uh, that's a historic moment for the club because they didn't do it before and it's, it's good, you know, because we are improving day by day. And I think the most important part for us is playoffs this year, and we're we're doing everything to together. And you're obviously happy with your performance as well, right? You're playing I mean, great. I try, I try, you know. So, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm just happy to have freedom and minutes. Uh, yeah. That's why I came here, and uh, I hope I return in that way that they expect me to. Perfect. Jaka, tell me a little bit about your. Uh, time where you relax back home, let's say after a game or something like that, what do you like to do? Like a lot of people watch TV, something like that, what do you like? I just like to disconnect for a little bit because in the game you have a lot of uh, adrenaline and when you come home you finally everything falls down, you know, so I don't have energy to talk with nobody, to my girl, my friends, I just go on my couch and just do, do my things, you know, yeah. I don't know. I watch television if something good. Yeah. Uh, I play PlayStation, That's the, I really like to play PlayStation. That's maybe not that good thing, but I like Come it. On, man, every, every athlete, <laughs> every, every every athlete, athlete, athlete is athlete it, yeah. the same thing. Right? It's like, but I think that's the part where, where players really disconnect, go to another world, you know. Yeah. It's not in the same world of thinking about, uh, we have a lot of pressure from, yeah. I don't know, whole game, you know, yeah. from the fans, from the coach, from uh, teammates, yeah. from other players, of you course, know. Of course. So when you come home, you just need to relax, you play PlayStation, go to another world. Or, yeah. But, uh, but let me ask you this, you're obviously you're a very passionate player, right? Yeah. It's important for you to win in the game, not sure. just to perform good, right? Yeah. But what happens in the PlayStation? 
Are you the same I, way? I'm say, same <laughs> in every in every part of my life. Yeah. You know, I like to compete. I mean, all like the time. even when you play the game in the PlayStation. Yeah, of course. Passionate. You have to win. You have to win. <laughs> so hold That's... on. You come after the real game. Yeah. After the tournament, you go <laughs> you, to the you next get one. again. You get yeah, again exactly. at the tournament. <laughs> That's <okay. Yeah. laughs> But also another thing is like, uh, if it's like. We win, it's a good win, everybody's happy. I like to go out with my teammates, I like to yeah. go out. So uh, we just have fun, you know, get one drink, two drinks and just... Uh, I was, I was going to ask yeah. that, are you guys allowed to have like one drink if you For go sure, out? Yeah. Play, yeah, we have a game at the end of the week, so yeah, yeah. whole week. Yeah. Yeah. So we go to... Responsibly, of course, Responsibly. one yeah. drink, it's two like, maybe. It's nothing, you know, it's only... <laughs> <laughs> Not too much, you know, <laughs> yeah, we have course. to behave because after all we are role models for, of course. for everybody and uh, we just uh, like you know, just one or two drinks to, to, so to, let's say, to get conversation going. Exactly. So let's say when you do go out, what is your drink of choice? If it's gonna be one alcoholic drink, what do you like? I would take beer. A beer? Probably. Yeah. Alright, cool. Yaka, I heard somewhere that you are big into fitness. <laughs> How important is fitness to you? Like do you have some extra special routines or something like that. How do you keep yourself fit all the time? It means a lot to me because if I do, don't do two times per week a fitness program, mm -hmm. I, I, I think I'm not physically ready. Even really? that is not true, but it's in my mind. You, know? you mean fitness program besides the one that you do with no, the no, team? No, 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 with the team. With the team, know, team? With okay. The, or or we, if we have one or none, I have to do two times. You know? okay. Like two days before the game and uh, one day at the beginning of the week right now. If we have two games per week, Two days before every game, I had to do it. You know, otherwise I think my legs are not ready, and uh, I, I I can't uh, like be normal on the on the court. But does it ever happen to you like you're walking in front of the mirror and you freak out because you can't see the six pack or something or no? No, no. no? I'm, not, I'm not that kind of guy. You know, oh, okay. to, to, to have muscles and stuff, but you mean like performance-wise fitness? Yeah, performance so you're, yeah, you can wise, yeah. Do you have a signature move when you when you play? <laughs> like, Something that you prefer doing, like that, that, that's your really your strength. Okay. Yeah. What would it be? I mean, I have a quick first step. Mm -hmm. So with this, I can get. Do you over. break the defender? Boom. Oh, yeah, I break the defender. You know, but and uh, I get a maybe easy layup, maybe mm -hmm. a chance to shoot the ball, or just pass to to a teammate. But uh, Do you I like to dunk. I like to dunk, yeah, but uh, I can't dunk in traffic like a lot of... Uh, like a uh, Russell Westbrook? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I dunk, you know, with the fingers. So I, I touch with the fingers. <laughs> no, but... So, you have to do one thing now. Let's quickly create a name for your signature move. Like the, I don't know, Yaka Killer Crossover or something like that. If you had to come up with the name, what would it be? Killer Step. Killer Step? Killer Step, yeah. Killer Step, sounds good. good. That's perfect. We live in these modern times and uh, obviously everything is on social media, yeah. right? People are tweeting, Instagramming, Facebooking, whatever you want to call it. We're making up new words. Uh, what social media accounts do you normally use? Are you active on social media? I have Twitter and Instagram, mm -hmm. but I'm not that active like every sportsman or athlete yeah. should be, you know. Yeah. I, I check once in a while, but I'm not there every day, you know. I'm yeah. not uh, living this life, so. I pulled a few uh, pictures from your Instagram account yeah. and uh, I would like you to just uh, give us a quick comment on that. Yeah, I knew, like, I knew for instance, this one here, of course. So, what was this? Hey, it was like 10 minutes after we, we got our medals and we did all the interviews and stuff and we came into a room, we were celebrating in a room a little bit, you know, with the guys in the mm -hmm. locker room. And right after... Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh, look at this. And right after this happened, and they said, "Okay, I have to, I have to share this uh, with, with everybody." You know, so I just put it. I put uh, on top of Europe, and I put this. <laughs> oh, this is normal people. You know, I love that. I love how you're <laughs> like, yeah, this is normal. Like, Not, you know, it yeah, it's normal. Every day. Yeah, but I, I got this like Muta Nikolic, uh, uh -huh. like, yeah, yeah. assistant coach of Serbia. Uh -huh said this when Serbia won, uh, were second in, uh, ah, or made finals So in, that's uh, what he said first, yeah? He said, all, <laughs> he said, Seto is normal in Serbia, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, all this is normal people. And I just, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna like, it was not, it was meant like a joke. It's yeah, 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 I didn't want to offend 
uh, Serbian people because I like them a lot, but it was just, you know. Cool, cool. Congratulations one more time, man. Thanks, thanks, thanks. What is yeah. this one here? It was right after our uh, Euroleague, um, when we won in ACB against Malaga. Mm -hmm. It was like Euroleague team, which is one of the best in Spain. And it was right before we are... Uh, this we... is you and your teammates from Andorra here, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. of course. And this was after the game and uh, next day I had to go to, from Andorra to Slovenia to play qualifications for, for this World Championship and it was it's photo from that day. It was a happy moment, yeah? What about yeah, this? It's a, it's a special moment, you know. I, I had two amazing years in Red Star with uh, all these amazing people and uh, when I played against uh, Red Star with Basconia, my second year, uh, they gave me jersey and uh, the, the, the fans clap and yeah, everything. They yeah, they clap, yeah, because um, we had a good connection with the fans in yeah. uh, Serbia, so... I know I know for a fact that you were one of the favorite players for, for, for the mean, fans over there, yeah. They, so, were, they, they helped me a lot to, to have this uh, nice two years in Belgrade. Yeah. So do you ever go, like, do you like Belgrade as a city? Yeah, I mean, you know... I, I love it. Yeah? I love it. I think best two years of my life yeah? you know, for, for now, because... <laughs> In Belgrade, you have every moment you have something to do. Every moment something is going yeah. on. I like this a lot. For young people, that's amazing. Somewhere in the world, they're known as jalapenos. Somewhere they're known as papricica, like where we come from. You know, there's different names, but what we do know is that these little things are usually hot. Why do we have them here on the table? You can see that Yaka is worried about it. But why do we have it here? Because this is a segment that we call the trivia. I have five questions that are related to Yaka's life and career in some way or another uh, that I'll ask him. These are multiple choice questions, right? Multiple answers. So I'll ask you a question. Then you'll have A, B, or C. I'll wait for you to give me an answer. If you get it right, I take one of these, take a bite. If you get it wrong, guess what happens? It's gonna be you, okay? You ready? I'm ready. Let's Boom, go. let's do it. All right, first one. <clears throat> I already see I'm eating this. <laughs> Prior to this last gold medal at the Eurobasket last year, how many medals has Slovenia won at any major basketball tournament? A, five, B, zero, or C, 10? Come on, man, that's easy. You, you should just take a... You should just take a jalapeno. Why do I do this to myself, <laughs> man? All right, what's the smallest one? <laughs> good. It's actually good. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's not even a funny it's very, but... it's very hot. Mm. Thank you for this. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for number two? Feel free to get it wrong okay, again. Okay, okay, we'll Number two. Aha. Listen, there's no pressure okay. for this one, but Andorra Basket Club was officially founded in A. No pressure, you're only yeah, the, the player of Andorra. A, 1992, <laughs> B, 1970, or C, 2010. So one more time, one more time. 1992, 1970, or 2010. 2010. Pick the one that you like the best. Which, it's, it's, which it's, it's B, it's 1970. Oh, okay, the first okay, time it was founded in 1970. I, I, I thought about like nearest history, you know. You can't. All I hear is excuses, excuses, excuses. Think, Choose the thing. The big one. The big one. <laughs> Alright, so it's hot, right huh? now it's 1-1. One, one. It's sneaky hot. Sneaky hot? <laughs> Alright, number three. <laughs> ah, look, you said that Entourage is your favorite yeah. TV show. Okay. Check this out. How many seasons did TV show Entourage have? A, 5, B, 8, or C, 11? Five, oh, eight, man. or eleven. Nice. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's really short, short, so it has to be big, but I don't remember right now. Eight. Is it? Well, good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> B. 
This is the hot one. <laughs> <laughs> it is eight seasons. Have you watched all eight seasons? Yeah, yeah. eight seasons and of course the, the movie. The movie as well. Grand all finale. Right. Because you're being into fitness, right? Yeah. Number four, one of these people is a fitness icon. Okay. A, Donald Trump. Okay. B, Justin Bieber. Okay. <laughs> or, obviously. Or C, Lazar Angelov. I, I would say Lazar Angelov. <laughs> you want me to clean this blade, okay? All right. Yeah. It's not difficult. Huh? I mean, Justin Bieber is close, you know. What about but Trump? Trump, yeah. He's working on it. He's working on it. He's working on his mask right now. <laughs> he needs to go into cutting. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, you ready? Yeah. All right, you said you watch movies. So <clears throat> the Oscar for the best movie at the recent Academy Awards went to A, movie called Get Out, B, movie called Darkest Hour, or C, The Shape of Water. Oh, shit. I'm not, I'm not allowed to say shit, but I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is not national TV. <laughs> so uh, A, okay. Get Out, B, Darkest Hour, or C... That was recently, right? Yes, like a few weeks ago. Or C, The Shape of Water. C. <laughs> you get it, huh? Yes, you did. It was in my mind somewhere. I, I knew I heard about it. See what happened? <laughs> I have to stop with this. <laughs> but tell me this, so far, what was the most difficult part of your career? Let's say if there was something. I would say last year. I would say last year because uh, even though I, I like the coach who was there, I like uh, the, the, the way he's working. Mm -hmm. uh, but Something uh, just wasn't right? Or? Yeah, I didn't have the role I, I expected or I wanted, you know, so... It was some games I was not in the roster, some games I played wow. less, some games he gave me a chance I played more, you know, so it was like really ups and downs, you know. What is your perfect role for yourself? Like, where are you most productive? I mean, I think I'm an energy boost, you know, mm -hmm. like, for sure, in every team I can give something extra in the time I'm on the court, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is, is it like a, you know, two guard or a small forward, oh, what yeah, do you like prefer? It. I mean, it doesn't matter in yeah. this uh, new, new, new era of basketball. Like kind of same. Yeah. Two, three is like yeah. same. But uh, I play in Andorra like two position, and I like it a lot because you can create more, you know, for yourself, for your players. Yeah. And I like this part a lot, and I that's why that's one of the reasons I came here to show this. At this point of your career, how much can a new coach actually? help you further develop your game? Or is it just like, you know, you get somewhere and it's a different place and everything, but at this point in your career, do you feel, thank you, do you actually feel that you can still be improved by a certain coach or how does that for work? Sure, for sure. Yeah? I mean, I improved this year a lot, you know, and uh, I came to Andorra, which is, you say from Basconia, he came to Andorra, yeah, yeah. but so Andorra is a smaller team than Basconia, yeah, yeah. so you would think, okay, here won't, yeah. he won't develop his game, but you, it's the, the opportunity, you know, the opportunity you get from the coach, uh, the freedom you get and the advices, you know, so you can improve until the end of the So career. you can definitely for continue. Sure. Not, not physically, maybe physically around, I'm, 20, I'm gonna be 28 this mm -hmm. year, it, it stops, but like basketball-wise, you can improve until the end of your career. Um, again, going back to you being a passionate player, do you normally, like when you're playing a game, right, and the referee, I don't know, like he says it was a foul, you made a foul or something like that, do you normally like complain? Like, are you one of those guys who, like, why did you say that or something like that? Be honest, like, you know. I, I suffer in, in myself. I, yeah? I suffer inside, but I don't show it. You don't show I it? I don't show it to ref because, you know, next time he's gonna, it's gonna be on the, oh, I, should I make a call for him or no? Oh, I, I'm not gonna make it because, because he was angry yeah, on yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't want I but I suffer in myself. I'm so angry sometimes, but, uh, you know, it's part of sport. You know? Of course. Obviously, ref. obviously, you played with a lot of players that do, you know, yeah, they, yeah. they get very angry. They yeah, very yeah, angry. Yeah, yeah. But maybe sometimes that's even good for the team because with one reaction you can change everything, you know, you can yeah. but, uh, I I suffer in myself with, with, with the bad calls of refs. Alright, cool. What is one thing that, that can really get you annoyed on the court? What could happen that, that could really like get you pissed off? If I uh, 
If I come on the court and I get two quick fouls, yeah, hey, that's, that's really because I, I you go back I, to the bench. Like, I go throw back the towel, on the bench. Like, you know, I feel like, amazing. Like yeah. I'm dunking on warm ups. Yeah. I'm oh, I'm ready for this game. I come in and like two fouls. <laughs> for sure, one is when I don't touch it. <laughs> I come back on the bench and I'm like, oh my god, man. <laughs> this this shit happened to me again. <laughs> I hate it. The last question for the whole thing today. It's something that lately, I don't even know how we came to that. And there were actually some famous basketball players that were discussing this as well. Okay. But here's the question. Is the earth round or flat? <laughs> That's you, serious? You know, you know that Kyrie Irving, you know, like he, he yeah. tweeted that he thinks that the earth the, is flat. flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't read about that? No, I Kyrie didn't. Kyrie Irving, yeah. I mean, they teach us Even that Shaq, Shaq O'Neal said something about that. Like, he also thinks that, you know, they're the, the flat, flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't watch, like, uh, all the footage and videos. They say, you know, they said it's all, like, staged. Like, you know, made, like... Staged. Yeah, yeah, staged, like, filmed or made in the computer. Like, they, they yeah, don't think it really how, exists. How come you don't fall off when you come to that? Right? I mean, <laughs> obviously, Yaka is a very clever person, so... Yeah. I'm, a, I'm around. I'm exactly. around, dude. Yaka, thank you very much, man. Thank you, thank Thanks. you for inviting. It was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Behind the Bucket. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the interview with uh, Yaka Blažić. I certainly did. I think we had a little bit too many of those chili peppers, but that's a different story. If you did enjoy the interview, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe to our channel as well, and also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. See ya Behind the Bucket.